Hello everybody, this is Lara from Pure Elliott Wave. This afternoon, Sunday afternoon, I'm going to give you a real quick update of Cardano. I'm going to make it quick because it's, well, it's Sunday afternoon. Off to the left of my chart, the high, which was below this high, but off to the left I have cycle one, and here cycle two, lasting about a year, a double zigzag, a very deep correction. And this can't be cycle three and four because this is back in what would be wave one price territory. So that means cycle three is incomplete. And so cycle wave three may only subdivide as an impulse. That'll be labeled at primary degree one, two, three, four, five. A simple five wave Elliott structure. Primary one looks like a really good impulse. Intermediate one, two, three, four, five. Intermediate three is really long. It's 18.57 times the length of intermediate wave one. And so I, if we see the same relationship between primary waves three and one that we saw here between intermediate waves three and one, then primary three could reach 57.49. My targets are highly provisional. I don't like trying to calculate targets for these cryptocurrencies. I do it because people keep asking me to, but I'm telling you, take it with a bucket load of salt. I would much rather use classic analysis, technical indicators to identify the end of primary three along with an Elliott wave count rather than use any kind of target. So it's a stab in the dark, a ballpark figure. It could reach that, but I'd much rather use classic analysis to identify when it's over. What we can say from this chart is this upward movement looks like a really good five wave impulse and if that's correct then the trend for Cardano should be up. From this high to this low primary two will subdivide very nicely as a single zigzag and it's a 0.92 depth or correction of primary wave one. This is a very deep second wave. It looks doesn't look as deep because of the scale but if we view it on an arithmetic scale, you can see this curved nature of primary one and the huge crash of primary two. Gives you a little bit more of an idea of the actual distance and price travelled and potential profits because that's the important bit, isn't it? I've drawn a nice best fit channel around this bear market of primary two from the start to this high here and I've pulled a parallel copy down to sit on this low. There's an overshoot here, but importantly, the upper trend line has multiple tests and it contains all of the bear market, and it's breached now by upward movement. That adds confidence to the view that primary two is very likely to be over. If it were to continue further as a double zigzag, it may not move beyond the start of one below 0 0.019130. Let's go to the daily chart. We're going to focus in on this upward movement here from this low down here, week beginning 25th of December 2022, this point down here, 0.2393, and this low was on the 30th of December 2022. From this low to this high, I can count quite a nice five wave impulse. My only problem with it is the fourth waves are more time consuming than their counterpart second waves, which is rather unusual for a cryptocurrency in my experience. Not unheard of, but Maybe that's what Cardano does. Maybe that's one of its differences. Certainly is a difference on this chart anyway. The upper edge of this best fit channel is beautifully showing us where price found resistance as it approached. Price reacted down and bounced, no, reacted down from resistance, a breakthrough and a close above resistance, a back test of support. This back test fell reasonably short of support. This latest back test got quite close to support, and now we're seeing some movement up and away. Minor wave one fits as an impulse, minor wave two fits as an expanded flat. A, B, C subdividing three, three, five. Minute wave C particularly fits very nicely as a five wave impulse. If minor wave 2 is over here, then a conservative target for minor 3 may be for it to reach 2.618, the length of minor 1, at 0.7543. When intermediate wave 2 arrives, I'd expect it to be a multi-week to maybe even 2 or 3 month correction, and it probably could be really deep. These markets overall have a bullish bias, but they have really, really deep bear markets within that. Let's take a look at some classic analysis, some technicals. On the weekly chart, at the low, the last low, there's a strong bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. Does it have push from volume? No. The volume here, 143.7 the previous downward week, 147. So no, it didn't. That's not a deal breaker, as I keep saying. I've studied past sustainable lows on 
some of the uh, bigger cryptos like Bitcoin and Ethereum and also XRP and their previous sustained lows don't always have support from volume right off the lows. It's good to see it adds confidence when you see it but for cryptos you just don't always see it. That's the reality. If you look back at their price and volume history you will see that. But it is a nice strong bullish engulfing candlestick pattern and the next candlestick pattern did have push from volume. Price is coming up along against resistance at 0.40 quite strong above. Support below about 0.17. Volume showing a little bit of an increase for the last completed upward week. On balance volume moving lower with price doesn't have a new range so can't be giving us a signal there. ADX is declining, the DX line's a little bit of whipsawing going on and ADX is getting down to a low level, it's setting up to tell us there's a new trend. We don't know what di direction that trend will be until the ADX line starts to rise up and then we can see which DX line is above the other. For now, the negative DX line is above the positive, but with the ADX line declining, that indicates there's no clear trend at the weekly chart time frame. RSI is in neutral, it reached oversold at this low down here. Let's squish this up and see if we can see if there was any bullish divergence. Looks like there was the close for this week here, 0.4641, and the close for this week here, 0.2456. RSI slightly higher than this point, price definitely quite a lot lower. There is some bullish divergence, so that would support the view that there could be a low in place. ADX, how extreme did it reach? Very extreme for the previous upward trend. For this downward trend, it didn't reach extreme for Cardano, it didn't get above 40 and it didn't get above both DX lines at the same time as it was rising. As soon as it did, it started to fall. So the downward trend didn't reach very extreme, but RSI did reach oversold on the weekly chart and it does have bullish divergence. At the daily chart time frame, at this low on 30th of December 2022, there's a hammer candlestick pattern. And then price up off this low did not have support from volume for the first few sessions. It's not until we start to move into here that we start to see really good strong push from volume, pushing price higher. Again, that's not a deal breaker. It's really nice to see when cryptocurrencies can see, can exhibit strong volume off their lows. But if you study prior sustained lows, of various cryptocurrencies you will see they often are very weak off their lows and I've said for years this is one of the things that makes the lows for cryptos so much harder to identify than their highs. The highs are hard enough, the lows are really difficult. So there is some evidence that there could be a low down, low in place down there in terms of a candlestick pattern. For this low here, the recent low on 10th of March, this is a nice hammer candlestick pattern. The low here for the 12th of March, a really nice strong bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, but that did not have push from volume. There's a little pennant pattern unfolding. These are reliable continuation patterns. Pennants have uh, converging trend lines. They're like a really small Elliott wave triangle, but the rules aren't as strict. To calculate a target from a pennant, you take the flagpole, which will be from this low to this high, the length of that, and add that length to about where the breakout point's going to be. I calculate that about 0.4313. You cannot use that target, it's not actionable, until you see a break above that resistance line. Pennants are continuation patterns, so this pattern expects an upward breakout. If we see a session that closes above this trend line, then you can use that target, 0.313, sorry, 0.4313, then it would be actionable. You have to be patient and wait for the breakout before you can action on that. It's really normal to see volume declining as flags and pennants move sideways. So that would tend to support the view that we have a little pennant pattern unfolding here. There's no signal from on balance volume. I could draw a resistance line across these two peaks and a support line across these two troughs. You could do that and then wait and see if it's tested further before a breakout. That would give a signal. ADX at the daily level is declining as well. The DX lines are whipsawing. There's no clear trend at either the weekly or daily time frame. The previous upward trend here reached very extreme. It's above 45 and above both DX lines. So it's unsurprising that we're getting a pullback. The ADX line is Coming lower, it's still not down to very low level, so at the daily time frame, it isn't setting itself up for a strong signal, although at the weekly time frame, it most certainly is. 
let's have a look and see if at the major low in December last year, if that downward trend reached, it did reach very extreme. And here's the low here, 30th of December 2022. The ADX line was above 40 and above both DX lines. The downward trend had reached very extreme. And there was some bullish divergence between price and RSI. Back here, the close for price, 0.34. The close for price here, 0.25. Price closes lower, RSI is higher. And the close here for price, 0.24. Again, price closes lower, RSI is higher, strong double bearish uh, bullish divergence between price and RSI, while ADX reached very extreme, and then we get a bullish candlestick pattern, and we start to see some strength in terms of volume after that low. That supports the view that that low of 30th of December last year could be sustained. Money flow index did not exhibit bullish divergence at that low and it hasn't exhibited bullish divergence at this last low either but it did reach fairly deeply oversold at this last low. RSI just reached oversold at this last low. There is actually a little bit of bullish divergence between price and money flow and price and RSI from this peak to this or this trough to this trough. Price has closed very slightly lower, money flow and RSI very slightly higher, so that supports the view that the short term low is also likely to be sustained. ATR is increasing as price moved up off the last low, continuing to increase a little bit as price moves through the pennant pattern, so volatility is increasing, and stochastics is neutral. So there is some reasonable technical evidence to suggest that this low of 30th of December 2022 is likely to be sustained and some technical evidence to say that the 10th of March low is also likely to be sustained. The Elliott wave count on the daily chart expects that this was the end of a minor degree second wave, the early, early stages within a primary degree third wave. And on the weekly chart, here, primary wave 2 is a 92% correction of primary wave 1. That's extremely deep. I would give a lot of weight to the breach of this bear market trend channel as well. And the technicals support that Elliott wave count. That's my conclusion for now for Cardano. It's my conclusion is really bullish as it is for a lot of these cryptocurrencies at the moment. That's it from me. I hope you're all having an awesome weekend. And next up, I think I'll be doing silver at some stage over the next few days. But I'm doing a bunch of traveling over the next three weeks. I'm taking my son on a tour of the coffee region in Colombia. So we're super looking forward to that. So I won't be giving you quite as much free stuff, but I will make every attempt to guess, at least get you one or two free things a week. So thank you for your patience.